as probably everyone knows, uh, COVID-19 has affected the whole world uh, with uh, an enormous number of uh, people sick and over six million have passed away. And we quite early learned that it is not only causing respiratory tract infection, pneumonia, but also increased clotting and blood clots in the lungs, which we first thought were the typical pulmonary embolism, but we learned that it's small blood clots, microthrombi in the lungs, and uh, some of them also have blood clots in the legs, but the proportion of blood clots in the lungs compared to the legs is much larger, very different from in other disorders. So this is a new entity for us and we had to learn how to use blood thinners, anticoagulants and antiplatelet agents more appropriately for this disease. So we decided at ISTH that it was timely to make a guideline because there were a sufficient number of randomized controlled trials being published and then we decided uh, that we need a panel and uh, we chose internationally recognized experts in the field. Many of them were the first authors from these uh, uh, randomized controlled trials. So they were real content experts. When we developed this guideline, we knew that it had to be a, a rapid process and because of that we did not use the typical way of employing an organization for methodology because that is often more complex and slow. So we must be quick with coming out with recommendations that are pertinent for the current situation and then we might have to do focused updates as the uh, epidemiology and the clinical picture changes. The recommendations, the whole guideline has been published now in Journal of Thrombosis Hemostasis and it is, as of now, available on the journal's website.